Rima Word, No More Sins, They're All Forgiven, shared by Jezreel, received on February 9th, 2022. Right, my people follow me based on choice. Those are my disciples that wash their hands and ask, what have I done today that you didn't ask of me? Pray, repent, and seek me daily. Wash my feet as I washed yours. Prepare to die for me. This is the season of truly living. Try me. Test my flame, a holy fire. A sanctified name, Jesus Christ, the Holy Lord of all creation. Come to my pasture and eat. I call you my sheep, for that is how you know me. Let's begin. I was like one of you. I did this. I sent my son to die for you, a new creation, a holy feet. Fight or flight? Wrong. Fight or perish. There is nowhere to run from a holy God. My anger burns like fire, pouring out my wrath upon the unrepentant sinners. Why ask to be forgiven if you fail to turn from sin? I've given you all choices. Now it's mine to repay. Don't burn on my altar if you're not willing to die. Impurities remain, a stench in my nostrils, not a worthy holy prayer. Die to self, I'll pay for all your needs. I pay the price for your redemption, never to sin again, and you ask me for things. You need to see your sin clearly for what it is not gazing at devices and abominations. Those I love are all around you. Look up and love. Love me in your heart. Choose to want to know me better, and I will speak to you, even face to face. There's no greater price to pay. Rejoice, for the reward for righteousness in the kingdom of heaven is great. Now, Look up to me with wise and humble words in prayer. Remember, I am your creator. Don't come to me with a problem already solved. I know where to find you. You need to come to me with the issue and allow me to bless you. I have gifts in store, places to take you, you haven't even seen and you can't even begin to describe. You cannot pray these prayers unless you invite in God unless you invite in God to do the impossible. Life is so much brighter without carrying around the weight and darkness of your sins. Try running a race with the burden on. The door of the ark is closing. You will not make it like this. The condition of men's hearts house great and grievous sins, like lust, TV, pornography. You know what you've done against me. There's guilt and shame in your heart. I put it there so I can have mercy on you, though none of you deserve it. I am a holy God, and it's time to clean up your hearts, clean up your houses. I come with a purging, refining fire to purify those willing to endure my trials. Put down your swords. Stop lying to, to each other. Excuse me, stop lying to one another. Start reading my word and let my son come alive to you. Let my Holy Spirit, your counselor, teach you the truth. The way of to life is to believe my son, Jesus Christ, and to repent, be baptized by my word and obey. I can help you. I can change your life. I raise the dead to life and all will know my name the God who was and is and is to come. Clean up your houses, wash your hands in innocence by my blood, and be set free, a life in the spirit, blind but now all seeing. It's not in vain my words were spoken. You are all alive for this season, for such a time as this. Now get up and walk, soldiers. Take up your posts Stand firm and be reborn to see the kingdom of God, the fullness of Christ, by my Holy Spirit in you. No more sins. They're all forgiven. Holiness, purity, humility, 
obedience, love, power. Do not underestimate the authority of God or the firmness in His promise. Now you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. Walk by faith, not by sight. Endure all things like Christ for the sake of the gospel of God. Go out and make disciples. Signed, your Heavenly Father. And I'm going to have the scripture references available in the comment section. Actually, in the description box.